Hey! If you're watching this video, that means either you found this video because you looked up the name of this sewing machine, or you clicked on the link in my last video. If you found this video because you looked up this specific sewing machine, hi, welcome to my channel. My name is Beth Rue. We're unboxing this brand new semi-industrial sewing machine and all of this. So if you want to see all of this, stick around, go to my channel, find those other videos. Glad to that you're here. I'm so excited to unbox this one. Let's get into it. These are not my fabric cutting scissors. These are just my general scissors from the kitchen. If you use my fabric scissors to cut open a box. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, the smell of a new sewing machine really just makes me so happy. Oh man, oh man. The first thing I notice is this box is hefty. Like, it's heavy. Styrofoam. And right there you can see it. So first thing I'm gonna pull out of the box is, oh man. All right, so it's the sewing reference guide, the manual, super well packaged, and this. This, this metal part in here, you insert it to the machine and it sticks underneath the table and you use your knee, pardon my pants, but you use your knee and you push it and it lifts your presser foot. This is something that I had with my industrial machines sewing at my industrial flag making company and I miss it on my home machine. I would come home, so move my knee and I was like, why didn't my presser foot lift? Oh right, this is a little home one. This is the extension table for quilting. Now, I'm so excited about that because look at the size difference. This is the size difference of what I was working with and what I have now. Holy moly. Also, this one, it's kind of light. It moves around. These feet, not the best, it bounces. This one, first of all, is hefty. These legs look a lot firmer. So I'm gonna put that right there. The sewing manual. Ooh, there's another. What is this? Oh. For professional use. Well, I'm not a professional. Oh. Oh. It's a sewing cover. I'm not gonna use this. You know what I might do? I might use this, but then make like a fabric shell and stick it on over top because this is rubber, super nice. But like I said, I don't like white. I can't stand white. And while this is super nice to cover the machine, it doesn't compare to this. Now, this is the first thing I ever sewed. This is the first thing I ever sewed four years ago. And as you can tell, there's a few flaws, like for example, just at the beginning, you can see where I didn't understand what seam allowances was. And a lot of my squares were uneven. And here's a better one. You can see where the seam is actually popped out, but it still works. Only I'm a lot better now, so I can make a better one. All right, so we got the sewing machine cover. It's got a nice little handhold in the top where you can pick up the handle. Not that I think I'm going to be picking this up often because it is super heavy. Now here comes the fun part. I have to pick it up out of the box. Ooh, so there's a handle. Not sure I trust that, honestly. I mean, I should. Oh man. Not even kidding. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to lower this to the floor and pick it up, put it on the table. So if you're mature, um, might want to get some help if you're moving this. Oh man. Oh, it has suction feet. That is so cool. So it doesn't move once you put it down. That is genius. And as you can see, there's nothing else in the box. That's it. So let's take the plastic off. Ooh, what's in the box? Distraction. I'm gonna put my heaters. This is all the feet in cord. So 
We got power cord. Oh, the feet, extra needles. There's a walking foot in there. Hmm. And then we got a standard foot pedal. It's pretty standard. Pretty much the same as my other one, actually. So there's that box. Oh, man. <sighs> like, I can't explain how much my my whole body, my whole being right now is just I'm so heavy. <sighs> Ready? Oh. 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 Oh, man. That is beautiful. Oh, man. Okay. So, this is a big machine. So, I'm going to get a close up look, right? This is the Brother PQ 1500 SL. It looks just like this. These are all the things pulled out of that little box. Here's the side of the machine. Here's the front of the machine. Ooh, those are the feet dogs. All right. So it has this red one right here. And it's because it has a little tiny needle that will stick up from the presser foot if you're sewing silk or some, something. That is actually the selling point that I bought this sewing machine for. So I'm gonna have to learn what all these buttons mean. There's a pair of scissors. There is the needle down, I'm guessing. There's the three different stitches. Here's the backwards and forwards lever. Here's this, which I'll be honest, I know nothing about thread tension. I, I literally, I know nothing. There's that part, don't know what that means. <laughs> Sorry, I'm not being very helpful. Here's the side. This one, unlike other, oh, it's taped. I'm gonna pull that off. Unlike my former sewing machine, this one, Oh, this one you access from the side here and the bobbin is in there. It's in this little casing. And if you're like me and you had a home sewing machine, our home sewing machines did not have anything like that. So that's going to take an adjustment. I don't know what those are for. Oh, it feels so nice. Here's a hole for the lever that was in this bag. It's the knee joint. It'll go in there and it'll come out and then stick down and be underneath the table. Oh, I don't. Oh, that's how you decide. Oh, man. I can't even describe how happy this makes me. I'm assuming this is a thread. Oh, 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 okay. I get it. That's really cool. So this is your spot. I mean, I guess. I don't really want to touch anything until I watch some videos. So every time I buy a new sewing machine, I sit down with the manual and I read it cover to cover. Literally the best way to get comfortable with your machine. It seems a little boring, but in the back of your head, you'll always have the knowledge of, oh wait, this is a problem I'm experiencing. And I remember reading about this problem in the manual. Uh, this machine is not a common machine. So it kind of made me nervous to buy it because normally when someone's spending six, $700 on a machine, they go a little bit further and spend the $800 one. And I just couldn't go that little bit further. Um, but anyway, the throat space on this machine is huge compared to my other one. My other one was like that much throat space, which if anyone who quilts knows that that's huge because one, this machine, not only, it only does straight stitch. So that's the thing. But having the ability to drop the feed dogs, the little teeth that pull the fabric forward as you're sewing from the underside, having the ability to drop that means that you can free motion quilt and free motion do stuff. This machine can actually be put into a free motion quilting frame and you can free motion quilt on it. It's, it's smaller than most free motion quilt machines but it's bigger than some, than a home machine. And so what I'm gonna be doing is I'm gonna be taking pool noodles, rolling up my sandwich, and then feeding it through, rolling and unrolling, and it's gonna be a lot of rolling and unrolling. But the point is, I can now free motion quilt, 
big quilts, which I'm so excited for. Anyway, so this is the beauty all set up with the knee attachment and the extension table hooked on. These are all the knickknacks that come with the machine. I don't know what most of these, I do know that this one is a free motion quilting foot or free motion anything foot. And this is a walking foot. Other than that, I do not know. I need to read the manual. It comes with two different sizes of screwdriver and it comes with this wheelie thingy. But uh, yeah, this is it all set up. The knee lever is amazing. You press this with your knee, that goes up. So that's gonna be fun to get used to again. I'm going to film turning it on for the first time, but I'm not going to use it until I have read the manuals back to front several times. All right, it is all plugged in. I have the foot pedal up on the desk which is where my foot pedals will rest when I'm not using them because I have dogs and if the dogs step on the foot pedal, it, bad things can happen. So it's just always a good idea to put your foot pedal out of the way when you're not intending on stepping on it. My heart is going so fast and I'm so excited to turn it on. Are you ready? Here's the switch. And that was anticlimactic. All right, well, okay then. So the only notable thing now that it's all set up is that I've noticed this extension table has this little thing that goes up and then you pull this up, you pull that down and the bobbin change is right in there. And it is an industrial bobbin, which means it's all metal, super sturdy, flip that back down, flip that back down and you're ready to go. Right now it's got on a really skinny narrow foot and I don't know about that. That is the Brother PQ1500SL in all of its beautiful shining glory. I am probably going to put some stickers on it because I cannot stand white. But for now, I'm going to appreciate it for what it is. If you want to watch the Alice Bear Hall box, click on this box. If you want to watch the sewing stuff haul, click on this box. If you want to watch the serger unboxing, click on this box. If you want to watch the embroidery machine unboxing, click on this box.